What's going on guys? Today, it's the update you guys have been waiting for. Check it out. I realized something the other day and when I started this build, my beard was pretty much non-existent. You can see how long it's taken me to build this. Right here, that's how long it's taken. So to bring you guys up to speed with everything that I've done since my last video. Start obviously painted this thing. This is uh, Rust-Oleum Smoke Gray, uh, which is what I had already painted the wheels. I decided to spray paint it because this thing is kind of a budget build and it's gonna get scratched and in the end is I could just touch it up with a little bit of spray paint. Uh, obviously, Low Range is the bomb. They sponsored the channel. They got the big decals on the rig. I think it turned out great. As you guys can see back here, I got the uh, bed liner in. It's Her Herky Liner from Amazon. Rolled it on. It's great, couldn't be happier with it. Uh, did the whole thing. Obviously, painted the rock sliders and uh, retouched up the uh, front clip right here. I decided to mount the amp for the uh, wakeboard speakers here for temporary. Uh, I wanted to keep it up out of the way in case I was in water. I didn't want to put it under the seat in case water came up. I didn't want to get this thing ruined. I did go ahead and uh, remount the uh, wakeboard speakers here in the back. I want to drill holes in the cage to run the speaker wire through. But for now I have these, uh, these little Velcro things holding everything on. And it seems to work pretty good. Uh, as always, I'll have the link for these in the description. I'm sure the question that you guys all want to know the answer to is, is this thing done? And the answer is no, not 100%. Got a couple little things to do, like uh, I got to do the exhaust. Uh, I want to mount my CB radio and then like some shifter boots and little stuff. So uh, totally, totally wheelable, good to go. Oh, and I, I got to fix the e-brake. Uh, the e-brake never worked. The good news is I do have a trip planned uh, a little shakedown run uh, in a couple weeks for this, so stay tuned for that. I also have a larger trip planned for the end of the month. Uh, gonna be running like three different trails, and uh, stay tuned for the details on that. Overall, I'm, I'm extremely happy with how this has turned out. There were a couple times when I was uh, doubting myself a little bit, but this is the look I was going for. From here back where I cut it, it looks for the most part like a long wheelbase samurai. Obviously, my fender wells are a little different. Kind of added my own style. I mean, we even have the uh, the gas cap in there, recess, looking pretty factory. And uh, I'm stoked for how it's turned out. I, I can't wait. Like, I'm absolutely dying to get this thing out there on the trail. I'm stoked with how the tailgate has turned out. I'm glad I did it that way. This uh, power steering hose here has been leaking, so gonna replace all the power steering hoses on this thing. Don't wanna be leaking out there on the trail. And as you guys can see right here, I completely rebuilt, did all the seals and bearings on the front axle. It was uh, leaking a little bit. The Low Ranges video series was actually something that I used when I was rebuilding the front axle on this thing because I personally hadn't ever done it before. It was extremely helpful and well done. It's just to the point. Also, if you guys aren't aware, there's still, depending on when you're seeing this video, there's still a couple days left to enter my giveaway that uh, Low Range and I are doing to celebrate 2,000 subscribers. Uh, we're giving away an EOS transfer case cradle which is a $250 value. Uh, if, you guys haven't seen, if you guys haven't seen my video on that, the link to sign up for that giveaway is in the description below. You have a couple days left, it's free to enter and free shipping. Let me know what you guys think of the build down in the comments below. Let me know how it's turned out and what you guys would have done differently. As always, I'll see you guys in the next one.